Well, just doing some uh, bike maintenance. Uh, got Swindley tomorrow. So I'm going to ride the uh, Marion St. Quentin there. So on the uh, Marion St. Quentin, I've just replaced the rear cassette, the chain, and the gear, gear cables. Give it a quick, get all the worst of the mud off of it. I've not done it pristine because there's no point. It's going to get covered in crap again tomorrow. And yep, that's all working lovely. All indexed and ready to go. Just having a look at one of the Trek uh, liquids. These are an elderly bike now, to be totally honest, of 2000, circa 2003. Um, I mean, it's not mega old. Mega old, of course, like pre-war. But for a mountain bike, that's, that's getting on a bit. Um, this has had a few upgrades in its time. Quite a few upgrades. Mizoki forks. They're real Mizokis as well, made before 2008. But our problem is the rear main bearings in the frame have gone. I think this is its second set, actually. I think it's had a set before. See that on camera. It's not bad enough to show on camera yet. Oh yeah, there we go. If I do that, you can see the whole rear end's moving around. And those bolts are tight, so if you ever see a full suspension bike like that and it's for sale, check the well, older full suspension bike, check the rear main bearings because there's a good chance they're gone. As you can see, they're a real mud trap. So mud has actually collected in there, gone past the seal and eaten the actual bearing. So it's these bearings here that need replacing, and yes, the bolts are tight, that's not the problem. The bearings are shot, and there's mud and schmoo leaking out there, as well as grease, which tells us the seal has been compromised. And those bearings are not long for this world, in fact, they're pretty much done now. And of course, that will put stress on the other bearings, these ones here probably need doing. I think there's some here as well. So this needs a full bearing kit, depending on what he wants to do with it. Um, pretty large frame this as well. It's a good bike, good bike in its day. Still is a reasonable bike now. Suspension forks still work absolutely beautifully. They're the ones with the remote lockout. Rebounds on the bottom. It's got some interesting parts. It's got an Onza headset on it. As I said the bomber forks. Mazoki forks. And some of these weird mad speed seven wheels. They've got some um, reinforced spoke eyelets as well and bladed spokes just in case you encounter a swan or a vicious duck. You've got to have bladed spokes. Ultimate swan decapitation device. Anyway, there's a triple up front. Woohoo! Could be made too by. Dua Fox rear shock with a lockout on it and rebound adjust. The rear end's carbon fibre. Carbon fibre black magic stays. Originally it's had an adjustable rear travel shock and a U-turn front suspension fork. It's been upgraded over the years. It's much more beefed up. It has a dropper post on there as well by X-Fusion. So that's that. It has these AIDS pedals on it, but I don't recommend these to anyone. They're the triple B ones off Amazon for 17 quid. My set seized up solid. And the, uh, yeah. <laughs> I did free them up in the end and just give them away on a bike or so. Has the uh, 9 speed rear derailleur on it, cassette and chain are okay, I've just put some lube on this. Oh no I haven't actually, sorry, I'm about to put some lube on this thing. Nearly forgot. The lubricants, I've opted for the Decathlon uh, ceramic schmoo, which looks like something. And Paul got the other Decathlon one that's Teflon based. I think this is like the more environmentally friendly one because they say don't buy stuff with Teflon in it, but yeah, hey ho. Other bikes we've been uh, messing around with, sorry for this long ramble, this GT, I've given the chain a bit of a lube. The cassette's probably not long for this world though, so I've just left that alone. Give it a light degrease. This is the spare slash cross country slash do it all bike that we've got around here. Large frame. Do with some wider handlebars on it, really. I think these are only 720 wide. Shimano hydraulic, Shimano dual 10 speed gears, paired with an XT rear derailleur with a clutch. Triple on the front there, so it's a bit strange. External bottom bracket though, it's a dual triple. These rock shocks need a service. Um, Talks about high bike sticker on there, obviously, by the looks of it. Rockshop Recons. 
So yeah, these definitely need a service. These are not as solid as the uh, XC32 in my opinion. Put a little bit of stanchion wear there. This thing hasn't got mega miles on it. It's only got about 350, 400 miles on it, something like that. Give that a good old clean. I've got the worst of it, worse than the mud off, but I'm going to go over it again just to get more of it off. It's like oil and sticky crap that's attached to it. And yeah, that's everything really um, that I'm doing today anyway. There's some more bikes to mess around with, but these are the main ones. Right, that concludes this video. See you later.